Intelligent transport systems could help local authorities respond to road situations in less than five minutes and solve incidents more quickly. Technology providers at a key global transport congress in Singapore say such traffic management solutions could also mean faster alerts for commuters even before they hit the road. Gwyneth Teo tells us more. Know where the traffic jams are and be told how to avoid them. Singapore's traffic management systems are being updated to do just that. Singapore is set to transit to the next generation of electronic road pricing next year. Now, the current system uses tall gantries to charge commuters a flat fare, but the new system uses global navigation satellite services to charge commuters based on the distance they travel on congested roads. But it's not just there to charge fees. ERP 2.0 could also contribute traffic data to an overall system or a dashboard that gives authorities a view of the big picture. Sopra Steria, which supplies the Land Transport Authority with its current iTransport management system, says they can even pull out CCTV footage when accidents happen. The new development of uh, MCE, KPE, uh, new system coming in, uh, North South Corridor is another system coming in. We are looking at new competencies from iTransport 2.0 to integrate the data coming from more sources. And we do provide machine learning based data fusion, as I said, to provide consistent information coming from different sources. This will let LTA push real-time traffic information out to commuters in less than five minutes. And it could go even faster with predictive technology. AIMSAN has been performing trials with LTA the past year on this simulation software that can forecast traffic up to the next hour. They can send messages to the drivers so they are already en route to their destination to say that would be a congestion that is happening. Uh, please divert, you know, and then the authority can also prioritize and change the traffic lights so that they can actually relieve all these vehicles that are already diverted onto the alternative routes. LTA told CNA that this overall system is not just for drivers. Should the public transport is running behind time, we could give maybe a few more seconds to the green light at the intersections so that they can quickly clear the junctions and keep public transport reliable and timely. We could also have the classifications identified, especially like ambulance, emergency vehicles, allow them to quickly go through the intersections. The new traffic management system is set to begin rolling out in 2020.